Hey guys, Friday, day 62. Um, again, still recovering from uh, the backlash of pulling the plug. But uh, today, today was almost fairly simple. I mean, not a lot going on at work. A lot of a lot of vendor conferences. Um, a lot of conversations with uh, you know upper management and the U.S. side. But uh, for Indian wise. So they're starting up some more festivals here. It's the starting of this huge like eight or nine day celebration. And uh, like every single little, I shouldn't say every single, but majority of all the small uh, communities here are having this uh, celebration of dance. So you can, they're starting to decorate, lights are coming up. Uh, in about three weeks is the festival of lights. And uh, you know, all these communities are really, uh, you know, sharing their, I guess, their heritage and praying to their deities. And uh, you, you can't walk past a small community here without some kind of dance performance, just blazing music and blasting lights. And so, I mean, these guys are really rocking the hell out this weekend. A lot of people are taking off for a long weekend. Um, a bunch of my guys at the work are getting out early, taking off and traveling. I've got a schedule to shoot over to Pune on Sunday, on Saturday, I mean. Um, yes, Pune. Um, uh, it's about a four hour drive each direction, depending on traffic, so we'll see how that goes. It's about a trip to Chicago, you know, day and back. I've done that before. But uh, yeah, so the celebrations here are really kind of cool. I mean, I've, I kind of try to stop and watch a little bit of one without being too like, hey, what the hell's that guy doing? But uh, it's really cool. I mean, they. You, it's a lot like when you see them on like the Travel Channel or when they're trying to like promote travel and tourism in India. You see the whole group of like uh, the dancing girls and you know the music and all traditional dress and it's actually really kind of cool. So maybe if I get a chance, I'll check out a few more this weekend. But uh, other than that, not too much really big happening from my side. Uh, I will say that you'd be surprised how easily an American dollar can grab you a lot of attention. So, was sitting there at lunch today, and one of the guys a few videos back, I told you how the guy broke was like was showing some of the other guys that he worked with, like some of the currency he had. He had uh, Chinese yen and uh, some German Deutsche marks, and and I gave him an American dollar. Well, apparently, it's kind of finally gotten out that hey, I'm carrying American cash, and I think they finally figured out what that shit's worth here. So. I had a couple guys hit me up, you know, hey, I want to collect American dollar, I want to collect foreign money too, so, you know, a buck here, a buck there, ain't going to kill me, I mean, it's a dollar, I spend more than that in the Starbucks at home, so, uh, but it's interesting, I mean, you get a lot of attention, you pull out a couple US dollar bills and everybody's like, what the hell's going on, so, again, the shit you take for granted in the US, you really do, but other than that, again, a real short video tonight. Uh, you know the drill. Subscribe, like the channel, hit me up on Facebook, questions, comments, concerns, and I'll catch you guys back in the U.S. Talk to you later.